In this video I'm going to be showing you how to multiply two two-digit whole numbers. We always start by multiplying the smallest value digit. In this case it's the units column. So I'm going to start by multiplying 3 by 54. To start with I'll multiply 3 by 4 writing the answer below it and carrying the tens number into the tens column. So 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. So I'll write the 2 in the units column and carry the 110 into the tens column. Next I'm going to multiply 3 by 50 and write that next to it. So 3 multiplied by 50 would be 150, not forgetting to add the 110 underneath, which would be 160. So my answer for 54 multiplied by 3 is 162. I'm now going to multiply 54 by 20, as this is the other digit on the bottom number. So, 20 multiplied by 4 would give me 80. So again, I'll write that in the appropriate columns underneath. Now I will do 20 multiplied by 50, which gives me a 1,000. So I'll make sure I'll put the 1 in my 1,000s column to make my answer correct. My final stage is to add these two numbers together. So I'll do that as I would any other column addition. So starting with the units column, 2 plus 0 is 2, 6 plus 8 gives me 14, and I'll carry the 1 over into the hundreds column, 1 plus 0 plus 1 gives me 2, and 1, add nothing, is 1. So my final answer would be 1,242. As with the previous example, I'm going to multiply this three-digit number by a two-digit number by simply partitioning the two-digit number on the bottom into 50 and 4. So to begin with, we're going to multiply 678 by 4. So 4 times 8 is 32. So we'll write the 2 in the units column and the 3 tens will carry over. When I now multiply 70 by 4, I'm simply going to use my knowledge of 7 times 4 to help speed up the calculation. Therefore, 7 times 4 is 28, so I know 70 times 4 is 280. I'm then going to add the 3 tens onto it, so that gives me 310. So I'll write that in that column carrying the 300 over into the next column. Finally use my knowledge of 6 times 4 to multiply 600 by 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. So that would give me 2400. Add the 300 gives me 2700. So I would write the 2,700 in the appropriate columns. In the same way as the previous question, I'm now going to multiply 678 by 50. As I know that when I multiply any tens number, I end up with another tens number as the answer, so I know that my answer is going to end in zero. So I'm actually going to write that in first. What I can now do is multiply the top number by 5, as I've already moved it over 10 times larger. Therefore, 5 times 8 is 40. So I'll write that in the next column along. 5 times 7 is 35. I'm going to add the 400s onto that. So that would give me 39. Carry the 3 over into the thousands column. And 6 times 5 is 30. 
add my carried three thousands so that would give me 33,000 in that column. The final step is always adding the two numbers together again in the usual column method starting with the units. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 0 is 1, 7 plus 9 would be 16, carry the 1 over into the thousands column, 2 plus 3 is 5, add the 1, so that gives me 6, and 3 plus nothing is 3. So my final answer here is 36,612. Now it's your turn. Use the same method to multiply these numbers on the screen. 